Assalamu alaikum my dear learners hello how are you all hope you were safe and sound welcome to NIFS home school and this is Aifal Islam assistant teacher of English National Education Inspiration School Barnshet today I'm going to take an English first paper class for class 80 students our today's topic unit 1 lesson 5 discussions so my dear students this is your English for today book we will discuss today unit 1 lesson 5 Bangladesh equation so let's see our today's class class 8 subject english first paper topic unit 1 lesson 5 discussion lecture 3 sw1 teacher Ariful islam this is my messenger id mobile number and today's date so let's start our class so my dear students before starting class let us uh, see the JC question pattern very quickly English first paper first one scene part read the text carefully and answer the questions one and two choose the best answer from the alternatives seven seven marks give short answer to the following questions eight four questions eight marks read the following text and fill in the gaps with appropriate words to make it a meaningful one this one five marks and then Unseen part, read the following text carefully and answer the questions 4 and 5, unseen passes. Complete the following table with the information given in the text above, 5 marks, information transfer, number 5, true and false, number 6, fill in the gaps using clues from the boxes, 5 marks, fill the gaps with appropriate words, 5 marks, and match the phrase in column A and with the phrases in column B to make complete sentences. So these are the question patterns of English first paper. Okay, so let's go. We we'll discuss today uh, unit one lesson five on the sheet cuisine. Read the text and answer the questions one and two. Bound the sheet cuisine. Cuisine means the style of cooking, and bound the cuisine is rich and varied with the use of many spices. We have delicious and appetizing food, snacks and sweets. Appetizing means attractive. Boiled rice is a staple food. It is served with a variety of vegetables, curry, lentil, soups, fish and meat. So fish is the main source of protein. Fishes are now cultivated in ponds. Also we have fish, we have fresh water fishes in the lakes and rivers. More than 40 types of fishes are common. Some of them are carp, rui, katla, magur, we can say catfish, chingri, prawn or shrimp. Shutki or dried fishes are popular. Hilsha is very popular among the people of Bangladesh. Panta Hilish is a traditional platter of Panta Fad. It is steamed dry, soaked in water and served with fried Hilsha. And slice often together with dried fish, pickles, lentil soup, green chilies and onion. It is a popular dish, dish on the Pohala Boishak. The people of Bangladesh are very fond of sweets. Almost all Bangladeshi women prepare some traditional sweets. Pita, a type of sweets made from rice, flour, sugar, syrup, molasses, and sometimes milk, is a traditional food loved by the entire population. During winter, Pita Utshok, meaning Pita Festival, is organized by different groups of people. Sweets are distributed among close relatives when there is good news like births, weddings, promotions, etc. Sweets of Bangladesh are mostly milk based. The common ones are Rashagolla, Shandesh, Rashma, uh, Rashamalal, Gulab Jamun. This, this must be Rashamalai, a spelling mistake. Uh, Kala Jamun and Chom Chom. There are hundreds of different varieties of sweet preparations. Sweets are therefore an important part of the day-to-day -day life of Bangladeshi people. So my dear students, let's do number one. So the correct answer to each of the following from the alternatives question. Questions from the alternatives given and write the corresponding number of the answer in your answer script. The word quiz in line one of the text means the style of eating, the style of cooking, the style of drinking, the style of hiking. So the answer will be cuisine means the style of cooking. The word relatives in line 15 of the text means kid and kin, related, conjunction, known. So relative means the phrase kid and kin. 
Number C, the word popular in line 7 of the text means social, favorite, particular, domestic. So popular means favorite. Number D, what type of nutrition do we get from fish? Carbohydrate, fat, energy, protein. So we get protein from fish. What is the main ingredient of the sweets of Bangladesh? Flour, milk, molasses, sugar. So milk is the main ingredient. What is Bangladeshi cuisine rich with? Chilies, onion, spices, protein. The answer will be spices. Let's move to question number G. The use of many spices dash made Bangladeshi cuisine rich. The answer will be has because before of the use is the subject. That's why has have been used. Number A is the word entire in line 13 of the text means whole, partial, incomplete, part. The answer will be whole. Entire means whole. The word source in line 4 of the text means origin, end, fountain, beginning. So source means the origin. The word, the word delicious in line 1 of the text means stale, tasteless, tasty, boring so delicious means tasty the word variety in line three of the text means uniformity formal similar diversity so variety means diversity the word organized in line four, 14 of the text means disorder errands model unsettled the answer will be arrange organized means arranging something the word close in line 15 of the text means break, join, intimate, at us. So close means intimate. We say close friends, intimate friends. So number N, the word traditional in line 8 of the text means object, commercial, heritage, conventional. Traditional means conventional. The word appetizing in line 1 of the text means interesting, costly, fascinating, palatable. So, appetizing means palatable. So, number three, read the following text and fill in the gaps with the appropriate words to make it a meaningful one. So, this is the fill in the gaps without clue. This has been given from your text. You have to memorize the text very carefully. So, I'm doing number one. Most of these ethnic people, dash in Bangladesh, have some common characteristics. So, the answer will be number A, living. They build their houses on bamboo or dash platform called machan. So this one is wooden platform called machan. Rice is their dash food. They eat vegetables, maize and fish, poultry man, and meat. So rice is there. Number C is staple food. S-T-A-P-L-E. Their kitchen utensils are bamboo, wooden and earthen pots. Dash they make themselves so where which will be used relative pronoun will use here which they make themselves men wear lungis and women wear thamis sharongs and angis women dash their own clothes so women weave their own clothes next one traditional kanthas are made for number a dash use so family use the answer will be family Old or new clothes and dash are used to make these quilts. So number B will be thread. T H R E A D. Mamun Singh, Jamalpur, Rajshay, Faridpur, Bogra, and Joshua are most dash for this craft. So most famous. C will be famous. Now it is produced commercially. You can find them in many expensive dash shops in cities. Same expensive. Handicraft, H A N D I C R A F T, handicraft. The quills are now in great demand because of the colorful patterns and design dash on them. This one will be embroidered, E M B R O I D E R E D, embroidered. So, my students, your S W one will be S W one submit on Sunday. Your S W will be the questions. Answer the following questions. Number one, A, what is our staple food and how is it served? Number B, 
when and how is panta ilish served number c what are the ingredients of preparing pita number d how do people celebrate their good news so this question four questions are your is w is the one submit on saturday you need one lesson five question answer this question answer so that's all for today my dear um, students do your assign is w at home and submit on saturday 9 a.m to 4 p.m in the school library parents or anyone else can come to school for collecting and submitting the SW copies so thank you for watching this class that's all for today goodbye assalamu alaikum